What's up, fishes and fishettes? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with another video coming at you guys from beautiful Southern California where it's always a beautiful day, it's always sunny, and it's always a good time to play poker. Today's no different. We're gonna be heading out to the Lucky Lady where we are gonna get hooked up with their private room. Guys, I didn't even know they had a private room. You can also be playing in this private room. Reach out to them, tell them that Fish sent you. Get a hold of Tim. I'll leave their information somewhere down here below. They really take care of you. And we're here for the close to broke meetup game. Big ol' shout out to that guy. That guy was splashing the pot. Every dealer changed 25 bucks. $25 bomb pots, splash pots. Man, I know that got expensive. So go, go to his channel, give him a thumbs up to his channel, subscribe, and you know what to do. Big ol' shout out to Happy Face Hold'em who showed up. Big ol' shout out to Think Blue Poker, Little Poker Chef on Instagram, DGen Poker on Instagram as well. Otis from Cooking with Otis, all you guys, thank you. And each and every one of you who doesn't have social media accounts, thank you guys for showing up. You guys fucking, you guys freaking made it happen. Drinks were drank, hands were played, friends were made, hands were lost, but ultimately it was a great freaking time. But before we get into our video, go on and click that thumbs up button. If you like poker related content, go on and subscribe, click that notification bell where you don't miss a video and if you want to go on and go beyond just a little bit more follow me on tiktok at fishpoker31 you don't even need an account to watch my video so go on and show some love anyways that's enough for this intro let's get into our poker hands for this first hand of the night the under the gun player has put out a four dollar straddle and it's action on me i look down at not one but two juicy aces now i know you guys aren't gonna believe me but i go on and i limp Yes, I limp my pocket aces, even though I have a damn video that states that you shouldn't limp your pocket aces. This is how you get your aces cracked. And then when we get our aces cracked, we complain that we got our aces cracked, when in reality, it was our own stupid fault that we got our aces cracked. This game was advertised as a one-two game with a $500 cap. That quickly changed to a no $100 cap. You could go on and buy in for as much money as you want, and our opponent that straddled this guy's sitting on over a thousand dollars in his stack this guy's been aggressive he's been three betting he's been fighting for pots and he's just been active at the table so i was pretty damn confident this guy wasn't gonna check unfortunately he does check and we go to a dangerous five-way flop of seven three nine with two hearts even though this board looks as safe as the covid vaccine i go on and i fire 10 bucks after it checks to me the late position player calls the big blind calls and we go three ways to a deuce on the turn the big blind checks i fire off another bet of 18 bucks the late position player folds big blind calls and we go heads up to see a king on the river our opponent on the big blind checks one last time and i fire off one last value bet of 20 dollars to which our opponent goes on and calls. I turn over my pocket aces and they're good. Shout out to this guy who took it like a champ. You got a straddle, re-straddle, re-re-re-straddle, and he's gonna, he's right, gonna. I didn't look, I didn't look, I didn't I, look. I saw you didn't look. 32 bucks. All right, for the vlog. Oh my God. The vlog. There you go. Oh, God, I'm so bad at peer pressuring. Look at that guy over there. He's got, look at it. Look at that guy, look at that guy. Jesus Christ, somehow we've managed to put a $32 straddle on a 1-2 game. Everybody at the table folds, it comes back around to me, I go on and I make the blind call. Yes, a blind call. The opponent next to me, he goes on and he puts the blind call as well. Our opponent who straddled for 32 bucks, he decides to check it. We go on to see a three-way flop of 8-4-5 with two hearts. I'm first to act, I go on and fire off a bet of 16 bucks, which I do so blind. Our opponent to my left calls blind. Our opponent who straddled the 32 bucks, he calls blind. We go three ways to see a five of hearts on the turn. Action on me, I'm still blind. I put $20 out there. Our opponent on my left who's also blind, he puts his 20 bucks out there. The other opponent that follows, he puts the 20 bucks out there and we all go blind to a three of diamonds on the river. Now with over 200 bucks in the pot, this shit's getting kind of out of a hand. I go on and I downsize. I put $5. I haven't seen my hand. I'm basically donating money at this point. My boy to my left, he's not having it. He repops it to 25 bucks blind. He hasn't seen his hand. The $32 original straddler, he goes on and he calls. Of course, I call the remainder 20 bucks. And now it's time to show our hands. Oh, oh. Is this blind, blind? 
Everyone's blind. Everyone's blind. Everyone's blind. Oh, Son of shit. a biscuit. Right. Everybody's blind. Hey. One, one at a time. time. One, one at a time. time. One at a time. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, okay. Seven or nine. Okay. Okay. Damn. Oh, oh shit. Wow, that is a good hand. Not pair, that board. Pair, pair, pair. No. It's hard to grasp the fact that this pot got so big being blind. It almost reached $300 and you know what? Everybody in this game was freaking cool. Down to earth, chill people. And even though we went ahead and lost this pot, everything was cool because we had a beer and beer makes everything better. Money's on fish. Money's on fish. Game over. Game over. You know why he does corona, right? The long neck is easier to get it down. Wow! That's a corona. That's right. Oh my god. That's right. Now I'm under the gun and I've put a $4 straddle. Greg has made it $25. He's got two collars down the road and I go on and look down at this beautiful ace queen suited. I'm not gonna go on and just call this. I bump it up to a hundred bucks. Greg is my only customer and we go heads up to a flop of 8, 9, 10 with two spades. It's action on me and I'm thinking about what to do here. I did flop a flush draw, I have two overs, I have a gut shot. Greg has less than a pot size bet behind him and I think the best move here is just to go all in. I'm all in. Last time I went all in, Greg went ahead and folded. Unfortunately, this did not happen this time as Greg quickly calls and he turns over king 10 for a flopped top pair. And we go on and break out on the turn. We break out on the river and Greg takes this massive pot down. Nice hand, man. Greg. Oh, what up, brother? What's up with the shoes, man? Dude, don't, don't, What's up with don't the shoes? even look at the carpet. Don't dude. Shoot. I know, I know. I feel so bad. Look what I did, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna put that on the vlog. That right there was Greg. He's one of my really good friends. And in fact, you guys might remember him from the New Orleans video when I went ahead and put a side bet with him to see who would last longer in a tournament. Anyways, we're out here in LA now. We're at the Lucky Lady. He's showing some support. And he goes on and he calls my $16 button straddle. Everybody else folds, it gets back around to me, and I look down at this beautiful 7-4 offsuit. Of course I'm gonna wanna play it, I bump it up to 20 more dollars, Greg is my only customer, and we go heads up to a flop of Jack 6-6 six, six with two clubs. Action is on Greg, he decides to check it, and with 70 bucks in the middle, I go on and fire off a continuation bet of 30 bucks. I really wish I can go on and take this pot away now, but no, the fucker calls and we go heads up to see a queen of diamonds on the turn. He checks it one more time and I'm gonna give up. I check it back. We go on and see a free five of hearts on the river. Greg decides to wake the F up and put a bet out of 30 bucks, but the way this guy put those 30 bucks out there is just setting off some sort of an alarm in my cerebrium. I don't believe him. I don't think he has it. And if you don't believe your opponent, you gotta raise him. That's exactly what I do. I go all in, he goes all out. He folds, we go on and get this bluff through, and even better, we go on and we show him. Hell freaking yeah. For this next hand, the buttons put out a $10 straddle, which the under the gun player calls, the plus one calls. It gets back around to me and I'm looking down at pocket tens. I'm not gonna just call this, I bump it up to 45 bucks, the cutoff calls, the button calls, the big blind calls, and the under the gun player who limped in for those 10 bucks, he decides to go all in for about 100 bucks. Now this is a perfect spot to make a move. I only have about $300 left behind and there's so much dead money in the middle that I just have to go all in. I'm all in, 300 and some change. Everybody folds except the button who only has about 60 bucks left behind and we go three ways to a full run out. Yes! Hell freaking yeah, we were up against King Queen suited versus King Queen offsuit. And last time I checked, quads is better than those two hands put together. So we take a nice massive pot. Hell freaking yeah. And it's time to move on to the next table. <laughs> 
Now I'm on the big blind looking down at pocket sixes. There's been two limpers and once it comes back around to me, I make it 12 bucks. Little poker chef to my left calls happy face hold him to the left of her calls. This guy over here who I didn't catch his name, but shout out to that guy. He makes the call and we go four ways to a flop of six, jack, eight, rainbow. What a glorious flop for us. And given that we're out of position versus these three sharks, we go on and we check. The chef checks, Chappy face hold him, says, uh, 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 we're not going to be no doing no damn checking here. We bet 30. This guy over here calls and of course I go on and I make the call. Little poker chef makes the call and we go four ways to a king of clubs on the turn. I'm going to take the lead on this one and I'm going to go on and put out 55 bucks. The chef calls, happy gets out of the way. This gentleman over here makes the call and we go four ways to a beautiful clean four of spades on the river. Now I'm trying to think of a strategy that's going to go on and allow me to put all my chips in the middle without scaring these opponents off and we go on and we go for the blocker bet. I put out a bet of 20 bucks into 330 bucks with the hopes that one of these two sharks takes that as weakness, goes for the bait, and goes for the good old raise. It's not gonna be Poker Chef, she gets out of the way. It's gonna be our man up here who goes on and re-pops up to 130 bucks. Plans are going smooth here. This is exactly what we wanted. Hell freaking yeah. I go all in, he snap calls, and as I'm gonna go on and take what is righteously mine our opponent goes on and shows five seven for a river straight Mother nice hand sir nice hand for this next hand the under the gun player has put in a four dollar straddle and i'm on the plus one looking down at ace 10 offsuit and i go on and i bump it up to 12 bucks happy face hold him in middle position makes the call he gets one more caller down in late position the straddling player calls and we go four ways to a flop of king four queen rainbow nobody seems to be too interested in this flop nobody seems too interested because everybody decides to check including myself and we go four ways to a free beautiful jack on the turn hell freaking yeah we hit the broadway on the turn there's a rainbow out there and it's time to build up this pot. We make it 15 bucks. Our only customer is Happy Face Hold'em. We go heads up to see an eight on the river. I still have the nuts, so I go on and I bet out a bet of 22 bucks. Happy Face Hold'em says, F your 22 bucks. We're gonna go on and make it $120. Now, if you've never been raised while you have the nuts, it feels something like this. <sighs> oh, ah! I'm not gonna just call with the nuts. In some places you get a penalty for just calling with the nuts. I go on and I re-raise him to 200 bucks. He insta calls and we of course are good. We're not chopping. He later on told me he had 910 for a turn straight. It's very unfortunate, but we take this massive pot down. Hell freaking yeah. Oh, fuck, he already has a club. <laughs> oh, shit. You need to pair the board. No way. Killer. Come on. If you're wondering what the hell just happened here, let me go on and just bring you up to speed real quick. I bet 10 bucks pre-flop. Blue makes it 30. He gets a caller down the road. I go on and I call and we go three ways to this beautiful flop right here. I go on and I fire off a bet of 50 bucks. It gets to blue. Blue decides to go all in. Now I have about 500 bucks behind. Blue covers me. And I'm holding nine, 10 of clubs. I have to avoid an ace, three kings, three deuces, and three of whatever comes on the turn. So let's hope for the best. No. no. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 Dealer. Oh, oh, oh. I want to go on and take just a few seconds here to let you guys know that it's absolutely free to go on and smash that like button. And if you like poker related content, go on and smash that subscribe button as well while you're at it. It helps out the channel. Let's get back into this stupid hand. Boom. Yo, oh, oh, yes. Oh, Woo. All right, fishes, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We went ahead and played for a little bit over eight hours and we cashed out for $700 profit. The whole total amount was 1300, but I was in it for six. So $700 profit is not a bad day either. And anyways, yeah, big old shout out to everybody who did show up. Thank you guys, you guys made it all possible. And if you guys like poker related content, give a thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell, follow me on TikTok at fishpoker31, and I'll see you guys on the next one.